welcome to this week's guitar lesson where we're going to be looking at Shays Longs by Wet Leg. Now this is a band that are just emerging in the UK now and the great thing about this song is it actually only uses one chord. There's a bass line that runs through it which is quite a groovy bass line. There's a really cool lead line in the chorus as well which we're also going to look at. If you haven't already, I really appreciate it if you click subscribe and then click the bell. Not only do you help my channel out but you also get free weekly guitar lessons. So this track starts off with the bass line that runs throughout the verse. So to play this, we're going to place our first finger on the third fret of our low E. And we're going to be playing this 12 times. And then what we're going to do is we're going to slide it up to the 8th fret and we're going to play it 3 times. And then we're going to go to the 7th fret and we're going to play it once. So all together it sounds like this. And again. And then at the track tempo, it sounds like this. And that just loops around throughout the whole of the verse. And then when it gets into the chorus, so the very first chorus starts when she says about being horizontal now. So the chorus is when you hear both of the guitars come in. So one's playing a chord, and the other one is playing a lead guitar line. So we're gonna look at the chord first. It's just one chord throughout the whole of the song, and it is a G chord. So there's two different ways you can play this. You can play the third fret low E and the fifth fret A, so this gives us our G power chord. And you just do downstrokes on that throughout the whole of the chorus. Alternatively, in some live videos that I've seen, she actually plays this on the 15th fret of the low E and the 17th fret of the A string. It's the same chord, it's just got a different tone. So if you want to play to the track and to the live performances, come up to the 15th fret on the low E and 17th fret of the A. It's just a little bit of a squeeze, so if you're not quite comfortable with that, just play it down on the 3rd and the 15th fret. So now we need to learn the lead guitar in the chorus. So we're going to place our first finger on the 11th fret of our B string. And we're going to be playing this twice. And then we're going to go to the 12th fret on the B and we're going to play it twice. And then we're going to go to the 10th fret on the high E with our first finger. We're going to be playing this six times. Okay, so if we take those notes and do it real slow. And then we're going to go to the 13th fret on our high E, play it once. And then we're going to go to the 15th fret and play it once. So I'm moving my first finger up to that 13th fret and then use my third finger on the 15th fret. You could just use your first finger for all of those high E notes. It's really up to you. Uh, that's the way I do it personally. Or if you're more advanced, you can do more of a stretch and use your first, your third, and then your little finger. It's up to you, as long as we're playing the notes, it doesn't matter too much. So let's put that all together real slow. One, two, three, four. And now at the track tempo, one, two, three, four. So as you can tell, the track tempo is fairly quick. What I recommend you do is practice slowly and then build the speed up. So now let's look at the second half of this lead guitar riff. When we get to that 15th fret, there's a little bit of a pause and then we play the 15th fret three times. So if I just demonstrate it from our 10th fret notes, Okay, so it's 15, 15, 15, 15. And then after those three 15th fret notes, we go back to our 11th fret B, play it twice. And then the 12th fret B, play it twice. And then we're gonna go down to the 10th fret high E again, but rather than play it six times, we're gonna be playing this five times. Okay, so let's go from the 11th fret on the B
And then to finish it off, we're gonna move our third finger up to the 12th fret G, play it three times. And then 10th fret G, three times. So again, from the 11th fret B, it will sound like this. Let's play the whole of the chorus lead guitar. We're gonna start off on our 11th fret B and we're gonna do it at a slow tempo. So one, two, three, four. So that chorus lead line is played four times in the very first chorus. On the second chorus, it's actually only played two. And then for the chorus outro, it just repeats until the end of the song. So that has been Shows Long by Wet Leg. Really cool song, only three parts, that bass line that you don't really even have to play, that G chord in the chorus and that lead guitar in the chorus. Hope you enjoyed this lesson. If you did, click the like button, click the subscribe and then the bell. That way you'll be notified each week when I upload a guitar lesson.